Hey guys, it's user 7 here and today I will be making a review about the AOSIP ROM for the OnePlus 2. First of all, talking about the ROM, AOSIP is an Android Open Source Illusion project and it's based on AOSP, that's Android Open Source project, you can see it right here. Then the device maintainer here and the security pass level is of 5th December and the SA Linux status is N4C. Now about the ROM. It does not support OTAs yet and you have weekly updates so weekly you will have to visit the downloads page and download it and then manually flash it using TWRP. Now in this review I will be concentrating on three parts. The first thing about the is it will be about the overall stability of the ROM, whether it can be used as a daily driver or not. Secondly I will be focusing on the overall battery backup and finally I will be talking about the customizations which are included in this ROM along with the small bugs so let's get started first of all the rom is not completely stable yet and the first bug that i encounter is with the tethering and portable hotspot you know it works fine until the data is enabled once you have your data enabled you know it shows the error message you can see it right here that's what has happened so that's the first bug with the ROM itself. Other than that, the entire UI is clean, much like Pixel with this app drawer. Also, you have the app shortcuts. You can see it right here appearing. And if you just flash the G apps nano package, you'll be getting your assistant. You know, Google Assistant. Other than that, everything is quite fine and smooth. And the networks LTE is supported, VOLT, even that's working fine. So, other than the portable hotspot, everything is quite fine. And you may use the hotspot to share files, maybe using share to etc. It will not be affected until the network is off. So, that's about the ROM and stability. Secondly, about the battery life so let's get into it about the battery you can see right here so this is two charging cycles first i had charged it up to 90 percent and then when it reached a five percent i charged it again to a 64 and as you can see right here screen has i just got a three hours 20 minutes of screen on time so you know, I only get a three hours of train on time on average basis. So that's not very much, you know, even in the stock auction OS, I generally get four and a half to five hours of train on time. So it's not that good. The train on time, according to me, it's not that, you know, it's just an average one. Now, what's good about this ROM is the is what you see here you know when the phone is idle it has been idle for about one day four hours and 41 minutes and still just about 188 mAh has been consumed you know uh, regarding my oxygen OS I lose about 20 25 percent of my battery juice overnight you know that's been a big problem for me but here I don't have any of such issues you know, if my LTE is off, mobile data is off, and even the Wi-Fi is off, then I only lose about two to three percent of my battery life overnight. But in Oxygen OS, it was about 20 25 percent, and also the Android system is very much optimized, consuming less battery. You can see it here, and via Wi-Fi, I was connected to Wi-Fi for more than a day, and still, you know, not much. So regarding the optimizations, internal optimizations of your ROM is good, but still the screen on time is not that up to the mark. I don't know why. I only get about three hours of screen on time. And that's about the battery. And the memory. You know, the apps consume about 1.9 gigabytes and I get 1.7 to 2 gigabytes free. Now that's about the battery life and system stability now let's skip into the customizations first of all the ROM is not pre-rooted you will have to flash 
super zoom manually i have flashed it and it's working fine you know everything is working fine now we have apples which is you can control the permissions for app permissions can be controlled easily with this app and that's still working good there are no problems and the owl's nest it comes with a nest of customizations so you know all these customizations are generally included in most of the custom rooms you know if you're talking about du or maybe cosmic OS, everything but i'll be stressing on a few things which others do not have so the first thing you know you have status bar icons here network traffic indicator weather and that's one thing i like it i like about it if you turn it on you'll have weather information on your status bar you know may not be required but still and then the omni switch is present you can use it instead of the reasons you know i don't use it and then our quick settings you have the header options with a custom header image you know you can see it right there that's a custom header which you see here I turn it off to go off you know that's a good thing you know I can change it we have about six different ones that are included here you can see it right there I don't use it much still then also about the quick setting panels the rows columns everything and any even the animation and also can be customized here now here is a, another feature which i like the most one is advanced data tile and easy wi-fi toggle so what's it if i turn it off and if i go to my data settings then i will be taken into another window where, will, where i will have to turn on the data so you know and if i turn it on with just a single tap i can turn on my data sorry there and long pressing it will take me into that window so this is something that i like the most you know i generally just single tap and in the auction OS it was like that and i am used to that so i like that feature very much now you can even enable or disable the quick settings panel in when the screen is secured and music tile tracks can be shown on the gear style with title and all these features can be enabled so that's another feature I like the most and the third feature is the notification LEDs now here you have for the battery charging four different LED colors and the battery is low when it's charging when it's around 90 and when it has charged completely this is something that I like the most because I generally keep my battery charged just up to a 90 to 100 percent in between that you know I don't generally charge my phone completely so this is a useful feature for me I generally set this thing to somewhat blue and as you can see right here you have about 16 million colors to choose from you know and that is fantastic now going into the led customizations you have per app led optimizations that is if you turn on the custom values right here and tap on this button there then you can select the app and automatically you can see the chrome here based on the icon color the os chooses a led color you know it's yellow for chrome and one sec yeah for instagram the messaging is a light green first time ui it's something like greenish blue and from phone is blue it's based on the app for youtube it's red you know and you can change it as per your wish you can even change the pulse length and the pulse speed you know it's a lot of customizations actually you know most of the things it's good i like these things very much you can see the led light blinking there 
you know if i set this i can see the light blinking on my led panel you know you guys may not be able to see it this is screen recording but i can see it there and it's working fine i would say all the colors you know it's fantastic to see my led blink it's all these colors you know it's fantastic so 16 million colors I choose from it's you know it's very good basically so that's about the notifications this is another settings which I have found which I find useful in this room now about the gestures you have almost three not yeah you can find three gestures here right as control double tap to sleep and double tap to sleep anywhere in lock screen all those things and then you have another one here again about the gestures it's double tap power button to jump to camera and again another gesture you know the stock one plus gestures are enabled here if a flashlight music camera etc so overall the ROM is very much like the oneplus 2 stock OS that's option OS except we don't have a dark mode here and also the ROM does support substratum theming although we don't have much themes which are compatible with the 711 and about the ROM these are the features that I like the most and something about the ROM that I don't like is that we don't have a screenshot option you can include it in the power menu if you require but the three finger swipe gesture is not available I have searched it everywhere you know I like I use it the most and I don't have it and also the uh, screen record which comes in build with the device you have hit here screen record option you know it does not support audio you know I have to okay it does not support audio so that's another thing that i don't like about this rom and also about the otas you don't have otas you will have to go into the website and then download it and it's all tedious work especially if you are sticking to one rom now another bug is as i mentioned earlier the tethering and hot portable hotspot it does not work if you are connected to internet other than that the rom is all smooth you know it's very smooth and gives a complete pixel experience if you like to have a pixel experience in your one plus two now that's all about the ROM and uh, thanks everyone for watching and if you want to know more about any such custom ROMs then please write in the comments below you know I want to make a few more videos about the custom ROMs about a few more custom ROMs and finally I would like to show you how to know about these custom ROMs you know from where you can download it so what you will need to do is just go into the oneplus forums I'm doing it right now and there in the oneplus 2 development sections you have a beautiful thread here that's an OP2 mental support for Flashaholics by the M so just tap there and you have a list of all those super soup and with 90 nougat based roms you know as you see here and now currently i have made a review about the aosib which is the 13th one and based on caf forums and now i would like to make a few more videos stay tuned now thanks for watching again